The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 36 through 38. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 4th, 1973, in London, England. Your enemies will describe you in many unkind words and scorn your ability. What could be more painful for you? O son of Kunti, either you will be killed on the battlefield and attain the heavenly planets, or you will conquer and enjoy the earthly kingdom. Therefore, get up and fight with determination. So, Arjun's position is very precarious. <laughs> there is a Bengali proverb, Naste Bose Ghumkata. A girl, a, he, she is very famous dancing girl. So, uh, it is the system, as you have introduced, the girls and ladies have a deal. Ghumka. It is called Ghumka in Indian language. So, a dancing girl, when he was, she was on the stage, she saw that so many of her relatives are there as visitors. So she began to draw the heel. Uh, this is not required. You are a dancing girl. Now you have to dance. You cannot be shy. You must freely dance. That is a beauty. Uh, so Arjun, some rascal has killed some man, giving the reason that killing is uh, not sinful because in the Bhagavad Gita is stated there. Yes, apparently to the rascals it appears like that, that Krishna is encouraging Arjuna to fight and he says there is no sin. Uh, but the rascal does not see under what condition he is advising. Sadharmam mapichaviksa. The sadharma, the principle is, the kshatriya's duty is to fight, is to kill in fight. If you are in fight, you become sympathetic. Then the same example, the dancing girl, when on the stage, if she is shy, and then it is like that. Why is she should be sad? She must dance freely. That will be credit. Ah. So, in the war field, you cannot be compassionate. Ah. That is not required. In so many ways, ah. ahimsa, ah. ajava, these are good qualities in the thirteen chapters. Uh, Krishna has described ahimsa, non-violence. Non-violence is generally accepted. But actually, Arjuna was non-violent. He was not a coward. Uh, not that because he was coward, therefore he was refusing to fight. No. Uh, as a Vaishnava, naturally he is non-violent. He does not like to kill anyone. Especially his own family man. Uh, he was taking little compassion, not that he was a coward. Uh, so, Krishna is uh, encouraging, inducing Arjuna to observe this duty. Uh, he cannot deviate from duty, that is the point. When there is fight, you must fight regularly and kill the enemy. That is your credit. Uh, when you are fighting with the enemies, uh, if you become compassionate, how shall I kill? Uh, that is cowardice. 
แล้วขอคุณนาคนกู้เสียพระตูบาปราบสสีสันกังยิตยาวามุกบุกสสีมหินเนี่ยตัวอะไรที่พอเรื่องไฟการพอเรื่องสัตว์เรียบตัวไฟในบัตเตอร์ไฟการเกณฑ์วิกตอรี่หรือดอนนู้นว่าไม่ได้ไฟตัวนี้ Last point, if you are able, then become victorious or die. Uh, no stoppage. All this fighting was meant like that, according to Vedic culture. The Chhatriya, not the Brahmana. The Brahmana are not encouraged to fight or kill. No, they should remain always non-violent. Even there is required violence. The Brahmana will not kill personally. He brings the matter to the Chhatriya royal order, just like Vishamitra. Vishamitra was being disturbed by some demons in the forest. They used to live in the forest. So Vishamitra was able to kill such demons, many demons, by his will, but he did not do so. Oh. He went to Maharaj Dasarat, father of Lord Ramchandra. To request him that give your sons Ram and Lakshman, I will take them with me. They will kill that demon. The killing is there, but the Brahmana is not going to kill Patnai, or the Vaisya is not meant for killing. Neither the Shudra, only the Chhatriyas. The Chhatriyas should be so trained. Uh, just like in USA, uh, there is some trouble in recruiting soldiers. Because why? Why the difficulty? The difficulty is the training is like shudras. The young men are trained up like shudras. How they can fight? Uh, therefore, they are afraid. They try to avoid fight. Because there is no division, everyone in this age, everyone is shudra. How you can expect a shudra will be encouraged to fight? That is not possible. Uh, therefore, real social uh, structure should be four divisions: uh, Brahman, Shatri, Vaishya, Shudra. Uh, Brahman fully engaged for enlightenment of the people, knowledge. Spiritual knowledge. They meant for that. They will cultivate that knowledge personally, put on, put on, and make student Brahminical class. Uh, similarly, Chhatriya, they should be trained up in politics, in fighting, not to flee away from fighting. These are the training of the Chhatriyas. Similarly, Vaishyas. They should be trained up how to cultivate, grow food grains, how to give protection to the cows. And Shudra is our main call, simply serving this higher class, Brahman, Shatri, Vaishya, Shudra. That is the program. So Krishna is encouraging Arjuna because he is a Shatriya, Sadharmam Mapichaveka. So this is duty. The rascal should not take example uh, that uh, Krishna encouraged killing. Therefore, everyone should kill. There is no thing. without understanding. This is the difficulty. The rascal they do not understand what is Bhagavad Gita. They interpret for their favorable uh, condition. A year is. They do not read the whole thing from a child. Misunderstand. Bhagavad Gita is not encouraging violence. That is not the Bhagavad Gita's purpose. But a chhatriya, when there is five dharma yudha, yudhya dharma. What is that? Before. Sukhina chhatriya prarthon lavanti yudha vidhi. Chhatriya. Uh, becomes very uh, satisfied to get such 
fighting opportunity. Yuddham idrisham. Yadikshya chupa mannam sargudharam apabhitam. Shukhina shutriya pratha lavanti yuddham idrisham. Another place. Sadharmam apichaveksha nabikam pitama rahasi dharamadhi yuddhya chaya anna chatriya sa navigrati. Dharamadhi yuddhya. And there are two kinds of fighting. Dharma Juddha. Dharma Juddha means right, righteous fighting. And Adharma Juddha means uh, politics. That is, one politician, he wants to keep his position. He engages the people in fighting, declares war. Uh, that is another thing. But when right thing, violence is required. So, Arjuna, Krishna is encouraging Arjuna in dharma yuddha, not unnecessarily killing in the slaughterhouse. Do not misunderstand Krishna. The rascal will misunderstand. By killing, by his means, uh, he gives the evidence of. Another rascal, although he is a learned professor, he says that because this man has killed on the basis of Bhagavad Gita, therefore, Krishna is immoral. Just see. This is why. Uh, uh, without understanding Bhagavad Gita, in a so-called learned scholar also talking of Krishna as immoral, he has encouraged a king. Uh, just see. Such envious persons. And he is uh, teaching Bhagavad Gita. This is why. So, this is not a fact. The fact is, that there must be in the society four classes somewhere. Because sometimes violence is required. Just like why government is maintaining the police force, the military force. It is required for keeping law and order. So violence is bad. That's all right. But sometimes it is required. Just like poison. Poison is bad. But sometimes it, it is required for administering medicine. Even poison is administered. Uh, uh, when uh, one's heart is, according to Ayurvedic system, when a, a man's heart is almost to fail, at that time poison is given. Uh, so the heart becomes again agitated. Uh, in the medical science also. Uh, so poison is poison, but sometimes it requires as medicine administration. Similarly, violence, killing, is bad. But there is circumstances where violence is righteous, religious. Therefore Krishna said, dharmādhi yuddha. So it is the kshatriya. Kshatriya uh, means who gives protection the citizen from being hurt by the earliest person. That is called kshatriya. Chhat, chhat means India and tra means Delhi. Just uh, like Maharaj Pariksit, when he saw that a, a black man Kali was going to kill a cow, uh, so he was going to inflict injury to the cow, and immediately Maharaj Pariksit took his sword that to give protection to the cow from the injury of the black. So that is violence required. Tip for track. One who is going to commit violence unnecessarily, the king government should immediately take the sword and kill them. That is government thing. Has it been Vedic culture prevailing now? All these persons who are unnecessarily killing the cows in the slaughterhouse, they would have been killed by the king. You have done so simple. So that kind of killing is fire. To give protection, innocent citizen or animals from being injured by the rascals, the government or the king should take his soul and kill immediately. This kind of killing is there uh, in the Bhagavad Gita. Not that uh, general killing. You can capriciously kill anyone and give the evidence, oh, it is Bhagavad Gita. It is there. How rascals they are interpreting. 
<coughs> Therefore, we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is, without interpreting uh, in a rustic way. So, Krishna uh, says in two ways that if you don't fight, then your enemy will blast him. Avachavadamsa, Badanti Bohon. The uh, concocts and manufacturers have black family against you. You are becoming very much sorry to fight with your kinsman. Undoubtedly you are very sorry. But if you are blasphemed, defamed by your enemies, uh, better, before getting that, you better die in the fight. And dying, by dying you are not a loser. Because hatvāvā prāpusī saddham. Even if you die, don't think that you are loser, because immediately you are promoted to the heavenly planet. Uh, because you are fighting for the right cause, you become punnavan, punnavan righteous. Uh, the heavenly planet is meant for righteous person. Uh, so by uh, dying, uh, by your death in this righteous fighting, you will be promoted to the heavenly planet. So both ways you will be profited. Sattva ba prasasi svadyam and jitva ba bhuksa se mahi. And if you become victorious, then you enjoy the kingdom. So both ways you are profited. There is no loss on your part. Tasma, therefore, uttishtha kauntiya juddhaya kritanishtha. Kritanishtha. Definitely decide that I must fight. Uh, fighting must be there. Juddhaya, for matter of fighting. Uh, Uttishta. Get up. Why are you are sitting like coward? Encourage you. Kratyava prasasi sargam dityava hoksasi mahim tasmad uttishta kontya juddhaya kutamishtaya. That's all right. Tato jiddhāya jiddhāsa naivam pāpam avā. See, here uh, yeah, in this material world, when you walk, there are two things, either loss or gain, either happiness or distress, sukha or dukha. Uh, loss or gain, victory or, uh, what is called? The opposite? Defeat. Because it is the world of duality. Uh, there must be something. Dual. Uh, black, white. Uh, darkness, uh, light. Sukh, uh, happiness, distress. Father, son. There must be. This is called relative world. This is one thing. To understand one thing, you must have the other thing. Opposite. Otherwise it has no meaning. In the absolute world there is no such thing. <coughs> Opposite element. Uh, see here Krishna is suggesting about the absolute duty. Lava lavo. When there is loss or gain, you are the same. Generally, when there is gain, we are very jubilant. And when there is loss, we become more. But here Krishna is teaching that you remain in one position, either it is loss or gain, either it is victory or defeat, either it is happiness or distress. This is Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatmana Sochati Nakangsati. A devotee is always Prasannatma because his happiness is to serve Krishna. His only business is to see Krishna oh, uh, happy, that's all. This is devotion. There may be loss or gain, there may be victory or defeat, there may be distress or happiness. It doesn't matter. It's not affected with this duality. Uh, that, that is being taught now. Real Bhagavad Gita begins here. Krishna is teaching. In the last also, this will go on in different languages up to the end of the Bhagavad. Mamikam saranam. Let's talk. Oh. 
Samshit Ji Hari Chandra Bhagavata also confirmed this. You do not look after whether it is loss or gain. Well, you have to see whether Krishna is satisfied. That's all. That is your only view. Oh. That is your only view. Oh. That is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Atat Pungvi Dijasreshta Varnasama Vibhagasta. Sānuṣṭhitasya dharmasya saṅsiddhi haritotanam. Haritotanam. The real perfection of life is whether by your action Krishna is satisfied. That is what. You don't consider of your personal victory, defeat, loss or gain or this day that happens. That when Bhaktivana Thakur has sung, then uh, when I work very difficult task for Krishna, that difficult task becomes very happiness for me. That difficult task becomes very happiness for me. That is the standard of happiness. Uh, in the material world there is duality. In the absolute world there is simply happiness. There is nothing else. That's why when Krishna is going to Mathura, all the gopis become very, very distressed, crying. But we cannot understand what is the happiness of that distress. That we cannot understand from this material point of view. That is greatest happiness. When the gopis are crying in separation from Krishna, that is greater happiness than meeting Krishna. Then meeting Krishna. Oh, this is Krishna Pilada. That is now beginning. Sukha Dukhi Sami Kritya Labha Labhu Jaya Jayo Tato Juddhaya Jujjasa Naivam Papam Vatu. Thank you.